This tiny device is a one terabyte SSD drive. Let's check it out. Dave Taylor here, and I wanna talk about storage. I'm constantly needing more storage. Now, to be fair, I work with 4K video, which is an enormous space hog. But even without that, my files and folders and graphics and photos, all of that just seems to keep expanding and expanding. And I end up where it's like, even with the one terabyte built into my MacBook Pro, I have to do active file management to make sure I don't run out of space. It's kind of bonkers, but it's kind of the world we live in. So, People are typically looking for more space. And one way to do that is to plug in a flash drive. And there's millions of them. So this one was a freebie given to me by Quickset Corporation. And you do that and it's USB-A and it's two gig of storage. So they were very generous with this. Actually, no, I think it's four gigabytes of storage. So that's really great. I might need to use the adapter to get it to work with my USB-C only MacBook Pro, but still free storage, right? Problem is speed. And that's where a lot of these really fall down. And that's where flash drives and thumb drives end up being really problematic because yeah, they're really cheap, but what about the performance? Do you really wanna have an external storage device that's super slow? Well, the answer is no, you don't. Enter this. This is the Kingston Dual USB-A, USB-C portable SSD. So this is literally a solid state drive inside this unit. So it is super fast and has an enormous amount of capacity. This is a one terabyte. That's a thousand gigabyte storage unit. So that is really nice. Remember, this is four gig. This is a thousand gig. Which one would you prefer? Yeah, obviously. <laughs> but it's also super convenient to have the two different ends on it because you can plug it into an old PC and then put a bunch of files on it and then plug it into a modern computer. You can plug it into a phone, a tablet, it's Mac and PC friendly because by default it's in a Windows format, which Mac can understand. So there's so much to like here. And the end caps, I'm not a huge fan of those. I have to say that's probably my biggest complaint is that you are just gonna lose those little end caps. But even when you do that, it's still super fantastic. So metal casing, most importantly, it works with a protocol called USB 3.2 Gen 2, which gives you up to one gigabyte a second of read and up to 950 megabytes per second write. We're gonna actually run some performance tests to see what kind of numbers we see, but the unit comes in 512 gig, one terabyte and two terabyte storage formats. Kind of wish they would have sent me two terabytes, but really one terabyte's pretty decent for now. <laughs> And it comes with a five-year warranty. So what I want to do is I want to give you some hands-on live demo. And it's super interesting how it works because this unit spends a minute or two negotiating protocols with Mac OS until it reaches maximum performance, at which point it is then lightning fast. So let's go ahead and run that demo. I'm going to start by installing the flash drive I got from Quickset some couple of years ago. I have no idea who made it or what its performance specs are, but this is our benchmark flash drive. Move the icon over and just open it up. And let's go ahead and copy a 1.9 gig file onto it and see how long it takes. So this is bonkers. It's going to take a super long time. And that'll speed up a little bit as it sort of understands the characteristics of the device. But needless to say, on one of these little flash drives, you really aren't going to practically be using this. So you know what, let's stop this. And I'm going to just unplug this, which is sort of the more dramatic version of stopping it. And suffice to say, modern flash drives don't really work well with modern devices. So that's where the Kingston SSD comes in. So 
It's not a flash drive. So I'm going to insert this. And let's see, we've got to move the icon over again. But now let's try that same copy because at this point we are running a better device with better protocol. So I'm going to copy again that 1.9 gig and hopefully it'll be less than five hours. Let's see what happens. Well, it's still copying super slow. But as you can see, it negotiates the protocol and says, oh, hang on a minute. I can copy much faster than that. So this should actually take about a minute. Let's see how long it <laughs> sort of recalibrates its expectations about time. But I know when it started, you're like, uh, what? That's super slow. But let's let this chug along for a little bit. And it's certainly not the USB-C interface because I'm here on my M4 MacBook Pro with Apple Silicon and it absolutely supports the USB-C 3.2 Gen 2. So it supports that higher speed protocol. But as you can see, it is taking a couple of minutes to copy this two gigabyte file onto the drive. I'm honestly a little surprised at this performance, but we'll just let it chug along because this is what we wanna see and this is the benchmark we're doing. In fact, let me go ahead and jump forward to the end because I wanna show something else. Oh, notice that sped way up there, so that's great. So now we have that, and it did take about a minute, so Mac OS just seems to have a super hard time trying to understand what's going on with this drive. So now let's take a one gig file from the Kingston dual portable SSD and copying it onto the Mac. So I'm gonna just move it here. And let's see how long that takes. And that was done super fast. So now let's see how long it would take. Let's rename this um, V2. And now we'll copy the two gig file back. But now the file system thinks it's a different file. So here we go, five seconds done. So that was pretty speedy. Now this makes me wonder if it's fully negotiated the protocol. So now let's try copying that five gig file onto the drive and hopefully it'll be less than an hour. So it's saying five seconds and done. So what's happening here is that the SSD drive and Mac OS are continually negotiating speed until they arrive at a mutually agreeable protocol, at which point it's super fast. So let's run a benchmark. This is one that's popular with people that are interested in performance, and it basically just analyzes a drive to ascertain if it is able to support video editing. And obviously the original flash drive from Quickset, really not gonna do it, but this one, let's find out. And as you can see down the left side, it gives you different scenarios that require a different amount of throughput and it's saying that this SSD drive, once it negotiates the protocol successfully with Mac OS, is entirely capable of doing anything up to, but not quite including this very bottom one, which is 12K video at 60 frames per second, which is an enormous amount of pipeline. But other than that, you can absolutely do video editing directly onto the Kingston SSD, which is pretty cool. So let's stop this. And I'm gonna show you one more thing because I'm really interested now in the system configuration. So let me bring that up. I'm in system information and I've gone to storage and you can see here's the Kingston and it is in XFAT format, which is file allocation table. So it's in a Windows file format, which is probably why it had a little bit of negotiating time with Mac OS. I could reformat this easily enough, but you can see it's understanding the size of it, but it's not necessarily showing its throughput level. And again, I think that is to do with the fact that it is in a Windows file format. So this is all super interesting. Let me jump back on camera and talk a little more about what we just experienced. It's super interesting how it negotiated speed so it could maximize that file transfer. And once it did, 
it was pretty lightning fast. That five gig transfer, I'm really pleased with something that's at that speed. But this old unit, let's be honest, I'm never gonna plug it in again. It is way too slow to ever be of value to me in all but the most extreme cases where I might be giving a gigabyte file to someone and say, eh, just keep it, I don't care. Much more nice is this. And with the dual ports, and I'll pop this off again, so those dual ports, and it being an SSD, which gives you that USB 3.2 Gen 2 performance, super nice. Obviously, you want to plug it in and give it a little time to negotiate protocol before you really start pounding on it. But operating systems are pretty smart. As you saw, Mac OS started assuming it was a really slow device, and it gradually sort of sped up until at the end it was zipping right along, which was perfectly fine. Just don't be disheartened. As we saw, if you plug it in and you start copying something and it says five hours, 10 hours, 100 hours, because it won't take more than about 60 seconds for that 100 hours to go down to like 17 seconds. So lots to like here. And the, the actual profile of the device, its feel, it's super light. It is absolutely something you can leave in your pocket. It is also something that you can lose. So you wanna pay attention and track this. So um, one thing to consider is that if you are gonna have this out in the wild, like you're at school and you're putting this in computers and you might forget it, it might be worth thinking about some sort of encryption for your private files. But if it's just data, then it's just data. Still, a terabyte, that's a lot of space. So. This is definitely one worth checking out. As I said, it comes in three different sizes, 512 gig, one terabyte, and two terabytes. If you're only gonna use it on Mac devices, I would highly recommend that you reformat it to APFS, which is the Apple modern file system protocol, and that will give you better performance faster. But if you're gonna use it cross-platform with Linux and Windows and Mac and Chromebooks and stuff, then that XFAT is probably the way to go. And that's what it's already formatted in. How convenient is that? So definitely one to check out. We do need to talk about the price. Before we get there, I'm gonna ask you to subscribe to my channel. Click or tap on that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon for notifications of my new content. And give me a thumbs up if you found this of value. Of course, I hope you did. Excellent. This is the Kingston Dual USB A and C Portable SSD. It comes in 512 gig for $139.99, one terabyte for $159.99. That is a no-brainer upgrade right there. And the two terabytes gonna jump up and set you back a little more at $329.99, all at amazon.com. If you're looking for external storage that's lightning fast, and is small enough to fit in your pocket, or honestly, just put in your hand like you're some sort of magician, this is your solution. So, check it out, and I hope to catch you in my next video.